Right, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. Last time we took a brief dive into Norfair in order to collect the high jump boots. Now we're on our way out. To go visit a definitely not evil space pirate lair. Not in the least. And, um, whoops. Great start, great start. Um, okay, jump, jump, and jump some more. Right, back to Brinstar. Let's blast a hole in here. And take a dive into the lion's den, as it were. So yes, this is a very familiar lair. Won't say just whose it is yet, but I'm going to tell you it doesn't have as good music as it used to. Ah, uh, do I have to kill everything in here? Or no, I just have to go this way. I'm pretty sure that door can't actually be accessed until the uh, trip back. And go, oh, key hunters! Yeah. Key hunters everywhere. Damned things. Um. There we are. Save point, please. I would very much like to save. Thank you. Right, so... Now the obvious progression would be to go down. Which, for some reason, doesn't seem to be here. There should be a crack in the... There we are. And God, the key hunters are back. Let me out of here. Thank you. Space pirates. Once again, these ones can block your power beam, so just go straight for the missiles. Oh dear, someone's firing spikes at us. Wonder who it could be. Oh my god, it's great. Also, you look a bit smaller. And you died in two missiles. Well, that was easy. So this was Crate Slayer, huh? Nice to know. Also, there seems to be something secret in here. Ooh, an energy tank and a uh, missile tank refill. Strange that they're giving me that after I've killed Kraid. To be fair, he was that small in um, the original Metroid, so... As you will. Hmm, who's this guy? And the boss door to boot. But yes, um, quick note on this guy here. He's raised a lot of sort of controversy in the Metroid community as to who exactly he, she, or it was. It sort of resembles a Galactic Federation soldier from Metroid Primes 2 and 3. But... Speculation is just speculation, I suppose. Once again, those guard doors will take three missiles or one super to kill. But yes, wonder what's in this room. Holy shit. Um. Hi, Craig. So, yes, this is a real Craig, complete with that uh, kick and boss music. Which they remixed for Zero Mission. 
And fuck, he's huge. Shoot him in the eye to um, not land in the spikes, thank you. But yes, thankfully this time the platforms will sort of perpetually stay stable. Actually, I recommend just uh, using a missile. Yeah, he's not very hard. I accidentally used a super missile there to open his mouth. That was uh, embarrassing. Admittedly, he's huge, he's hulking, and not that tough at all. Hi, Craig. Yeah, that's that's literally it. He's dead, dead and gone. For real this time. Shame he doesn't appear in any uh, future games chronologically, or in anything in between the original Metroid and this. But oh well. For beta game, we get the various suits. And we also get a nice shiny transformation sequence. Swoosh. Nice. So yeah, same as before, uh, various suit reduces heat damage, and damage in general by, I think, 25% or the like. I believe that's what it is. Sorry, mysterious dead dude. Remember me? Well, nobody's remembering him now, he's sort of dead, but, um, oh well. Oh, you came back, fake grid. Yeah, no. Oh wow, well, these space parts came back too. Yes, that was the first of four space pirate lairs. And of course, one of the seals on the statues has been broken as a result. But yeah, this crate may have been easy, but yeah, they're a tougher ones, not gonna not gonna lie. And no. the point of this room, you may ask? For this, energy tank number three. Great energy tank, I like it. It's um, just like all the rest of them. But uh, anyway, time to go. Go, go, go. I mean, now that we've gotten the various suit, no surprises as to where we're going to. No, god damn it. Yeah, the answer is back down to Norfair. Back into hell, as it were. Admittedly, Upper Norfair doesn't have um, the best music. But it's there. It's ambient. Now then, I believe I can survive this room. Indeed. However, I can't survive that. That is lava. That can and will kill me. Oh god, you guys are fast. Sort of upgraded variant of the side hoppers there. Well, at any rate, I'll just use a super missile on you, why not? So you, you are strange and annoying. Please die. Thank you. Cool. I forget what awaits at the end of this. Rising lava, that's what. Hot. Hot. Still hot. So you lava dragons do not want... I believe I can only missile these fools. Yep. Goodness, you are annoying. Wow, 
Oh, did I really just shoot that thing with the super missile? Not my best moment. Right, so here we are in another area of Norfair now. This being the uh, strange bubble area. I mean, don't get me wrong, there was a strange bubble area in the original Metroid's Norfair as well, but still very, very strange. Also, first, there's something secret down here. I know as such. There's also enemies waiting to burn you. Of course they can't if you blow them up. This is only common sense. Hmm, what's over here? Ah, the reason I couldn't get here from the other direction. That being, naturally, speed booster blocks. Lovely long passageway for you to activate it in as well, once you have it, of course. No. How did I not get burnt? Also, those particular enemies are great for uh, grinding health and stuff off. For, as you can see, they also travel in swarms of five and then proceed to... just sort of line up to kill before they split and attack. What? Also you. Ah, there we go. Super Missile can off those things. And I can't go that way yet, it seems. Now, where else to go, I wonder? Hmm. Well, I guess the only way is up. There's also a lovely missile tank tempting me over there. But I shall leave it be for now, at least. Hmm. It's way down here as well. Yeah, this place exists. I don't think there's anything I can do down here yet. It's another grinding room. Much appreciated. And I believe this also leads to a dead end. No, not quite. Although, it would help if I had a certain beam right now. Hot. My goodness, I am exploring. But then that is good. Super Petrod is far less linear than any of the other games. Also die, please. I'd rather not get rising lava killing me. Hot. Nice little platforming segment here that I appear to be failing miserably at. Come on. There we are. He begins to sink as well, the cheeky devil. Also strange space chickens. Very peculiar. Also I don't believe I can do anything here yet. Yeah, that's just the bottom of this room, which is, uh... Yeah, nothing to do, nothing to see here quite yet. Well, not, not at least not until I reach the top, anyway. So let's do that. Norfair is a very expansive area in this game, not gonna lie. And speaking of, missile doors, okay. Ah, here we are. Tricky, but... As I was saying... Whoa. Almost didn't make that one. Missile tank. Great stuff. 
and I believe, yeah, here's where we reach an impasse. See those blocks up there? Remember those for later. They'll come in handy. Damned things. I'm sure you remember those from Fusion. Hoi. Damned space chickens be gone. Not just space chickens, but space fire breathing chickens, no less. Terrible monstrosities. And so I end up up here. I believe this is actually the way I was supposed to be going all along, so... Huh. As you will. Those things still explode into bits when you hit them. Is this...? No, it isn't. Ah, uh, it's a ceiling that's fake, not the wall, right? Ah, there we are, geek. You know, it would help if I stayed out of the lava for more than five seconds at a time. I can shoot that. Very... There we go. Yes, I will grind up a few, thank you. I'd very much like to replenish my health and other such things. There we are, that should do it. Also, run. Love this kind of section. Oh. Progress just gets halted by a missile door. Thanks, game. Yes, and here we receive the lovely speed booster. Press and hold the A button to run. Simple enough. Same as I was doing before, only this time. You'll eventually build up a supercharge that will annihilate anything you choose to run into. Also, now the lava's rising. No guesses as to what you have to do here. Run like hell. Holy shit. I absolutely love that segment. Um, speaking of absolutely loving segments, please don't hurt me. No, no speed booster there, and... I'm getting my vengeance. I'm going to kill a bunch of you. Makes me feel good. Thank you. Right, well, now with the speed booster in hand, I can reach new areas within our lovely Norfair. Can't really um, do anything with that yet, but if I recall, there is a save room in here. Indeed. Excellent. So yes, once again, now that I've reached the save point, been going for almost 20 minutes now, yeah, I think it's a good place to stop. So next time we will explore more of Norfair, assumedly, with the new item we have hold of. See you all then.